We are Iowa's most accurate forecast. Good Thursday morning to you. It is cool, but it's not as cold as what we've had the last several mornings. A more typical October chill to start off this day. We've got most of us in the 30s and even low 40s. Ames the exception there down at 28 degrees. Wind chills are in the 20s and low 30s early this morning. A far cry from the single digits and teens on Tuesday and Wednesday morning. A few high clouds moving out of the area, but otherwise a clear sky. Still have that warm front off to our west. That will make itself known today as we see temperatures really climb. We will see scattered high clouds later this afternoon as that inches just a little bit closer to us as well. Look at this by noon. It is almost 60 today. We will be in the mid to upper 60s this afternoon with filtered sunshine and the wind again will be fairly light. The high in Des Moines around 67 today. We could get as high as 71 in Lamoni, but everybody hits the mid to upper 60s and then we crank it up even more tomorrow. Look at Friday. We will be in the mid to upper 70s, lower 80s possible in southern Iowa. We tack on another degree or two by Saturday. We could touch 80 degrees in Des Moines on Saturday, 81 in Ames. And then Sunday is when we will hit the peak of that warm air with almost everybody expecting low 80s, wind, and then there will be thunderstorms come Sunday night as a cold front moves in. Here is what's new this morning. The Storm Prediction Center outlining their first severe weather outlook for Sunday highlighted here in yellow. That's where severe weather will be possible Sunday during the evening and overnight time frame. It's still a little early for us to nail down specific times, but we do know this will favor the evening hours and damaging wind gusts will be the primary threat. Let's go through it with Futurecast. I do think most of Sunday will be dry. It will be very windy during the day Sunday. Gusts could get as high as 40 miles per hour. Then Sunday night as the sun sets, those storms get going in western Iowa. They will be most intense in the western part of the state. And then as they move into central Iowa, they should start to weaken as we lose some of that daytime energy. And then they will start to fall apart over eastern Iowa before the sun comes up on Monday morning. So this is something our team team will of course closely be monitoring and watching for you throughout the weekend. Here's your whole plumbing and heating 10 day forecast. We will see some rain lingering, especially in northern Iowa on Monday. It will be windy, but notice temperatures go down from there back to where they should be. Highs in the 50s and 60s next week, maybe a little more rain by Thursday and Friday of next week.